Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about how to represent your work to the client. I'm 100% sure you're not using the free things from the Autodesk on the 100%. You don't know maybe something or you didn't try it. And today I'll show you one thing which makes your life much easiest. Let's say here's your project. You done your project, interior project and you want to represent to your client. How you can do that? First thing, you can create the renders, just print, print it or just make it PDF and send it to the client. So far, so good. But what if you want to represent 3D model? Okay, you can create the video. You can create some cloud services and so on. But how to make it more realistic, like you working in a Revit, make the same feels to your client, like touch your 3D model. Actually, you have the solution from the Autodesk, it's calling A360. So here is the A360 and as you can see, here is project. You don't need pay for it, this is free, you can use it, just create the login and use it. And today we will talk about this thing, how you can use A360, what the things you can get if you're using the 360 and, and how you can develop your model there and submit it by 360 for your client. Let's get started. And let's start from the zero, we will go to the Autodesk A360. So here is the A360, as you can see, I'm just using the Google to find it. Go to the website of the 360 and here you should uh, sign in. Oh, of course, you should have the, some accounts on the Autodesk. So I'm just using an Autodesk account. Go inside to the dat and here just write your login. Sorry, I will close to my login and your password, of course. Here now we are inside to the A360. Here we can create the project. Let's create the new project. Let's say this is, will be mm, new interior project. New in... Okay, here we are, new interior project. You can choose some picture for this project or can upload. For example, let's will be that one. And, and here what you can see, you can upload the project, you can create the folders. So let's say you have not only one interior project by this name. Let's say here's the... Uh, interior one and you can create the folder for that. Why are we creating folder? Because A360 allow we works not alone. For example, you can make the draft, you can make some submission dates, whatever. Just create your own system, for your own folder system. It's up to you. We created like interior one and this is, will be just our submission. Let's upload here our model. You can upload it as you can see the file. Let's use the file, show all the files, and I will upload my project. Here is the my project, which I finished uh, in interior, and it's uploading now to the A360. It takes time, it takes time to upload, and it takes time to develop your models. As you can see, it's finished to upload. And what we can see right here, you can see the variance number one. So if you not will change the name, and if you will upload the new version, it automatically will get the variant number two. So you not will uh, the change your name like submission date, name of the project, and next submission date, and uh, like f final, final, final. You not will do that. You will save the same name, but you will get the variation of that project. It's pretty cool for your client because you can say, I uploaded new version to the A360, please check it. And your client check it, so they don't have any question or they have some questions, you uploading new version, done. Okay, and of course you can see here, right here, who is upload this model. What we can see also here, as you can see, you can open it in the stop. So uh, if you have the Revit on your desktop, yes, this is cool for you. If, for example, you don't have it, such like your client, you cannot open this type of the file. Uh, or, and you can upload this new version and you can share, of course, with your client. Like, I finished, please check it, here's the link. Just click on the share and here, as you can see the link, you can copy it and place it. I will show you how you can create the new version. Let me, I will click on that and upload the new version. I not will change anything, I will just will load the same version. Of course, it will be the same version, but the number will be changed. As you can see, it's already finishing to upload and as you can see, the number of the variation was changed. Now, now it's number two. 
So this is pretty cool for us. Let me go back. Here is, as you can see, number two. And now we can go inside to this project. Yeah, you don't need anything. You need only the browser uh, and that's it. Let's go inside to the, this project. And what we can see, this still, this still uh, loading the data. So it means the Revit file converting to the web browser to just check it how it's working there. Also, what we can see here, you can see directly your model is sharing. So the your sharing link, it's working. After that, of course, you can see who is uploaded the last version and you can write here the comments. And what we else can see here? The nice thing, we can leave the comments, but we will back to the comments a bit later on. He, you will ask me, okay, I will change the version, but how I will understand what changed there? Like I'm client and I wanna see what changed there. Pretty easy and pretty simple. So here you can see the variants. When you're going inside to the project, let me, I will go again. Here is my project, I'm going inside to the project and here you will find the version. Click on the version. After that, you will see compare versions. Let's compare the version. It will take time. And you will see, so you is choosing the number two and number one because we have only two version and where you want to see the difference, for example, on 3D and let's compare it on 3D. And here we are here loading, as you can see, and now we can see the changes. It's still loading, so we should wait it. Now it's done. And what you can see, the added zero, removed zero, modified zero. Is it true? Yes, it's true, because we just loaded the second version, the exactly same file. And now you cannot cheat or your client will be clear like you didn't cheat if you change something there and he can see what you changed there. To see better result, I will back to the changes a bit later on. Now we're going back to the our uh, to the our model. So we get our model, okay, so if I will go inside to the model, you can see properly your 3D model. You can rotate it, you can select some elements, you can see the some properties of this element. This is on the Russian because I did this project for the Russian client actually. And as you can see, he has everything, all the, uh, all the elements have the parameters from the Revit. So if you will put some parameters for the element, you will see directly this is inside the properties. This is fine, but this doesn't help to construct or to create the interior, to create the building. We need drawings, we still need drawings. And here we can get our drawings, because if you will go here on the sheets, you will find all of these drawings here. Let me go to the number 10 drawings, and as you can see, here is number 10 drawing. If we will go, for example, to the uh, elevation of the my walls, you can see here. And you still can select it, and you still can see the properties of each element. So now it's new level. It's not just a flat drawing. This is 3D drawing, which allows you to select some elements and see some properties of this element. And doesn't matter, for example, this is TV. Of course, I can select it. So let me I will go back and now I will do the nice thing. I will go back to the Revit and now I will change something. Let's say uh, maybe I don't know, maybe I will delete this uh, work, stay, uh, work desk for the my uh, in my one room. And maybe I will I will change. I will change a bit this door, uh, this wall. Maybe we will change this wall position. Let me, I will do that a bit, a bit on this side. Okay, like this, so it will be uh, so not so clear and I will delete this wall, of course. So just, just to make some changes and I will change, for example, some door. Let me, I will change the, I don't know, maybe this door, I will, I will change to the another one. Maybe we will just it rotate. Let me, I will do that. Okay. Maybe like that better. Okay, we change it, we just flip it. We have our file, let me, I will save it. Whenever you will save on your PC, it doesn't matter. Okay, done. And now I'm going back to the A360. Here's my A360. I'm going to the our folder and let's upload the new file. Let me, I will upload the new file. As you understand, we created the new folder with the new, a new our file and let me, I will select it and let me upload it. It will take time. The uploading is finished. As you can see, this number version uh, three, 
so and what we can do we can now uh, try to open it and it still need time to loading related data so it will takes like around five minutes not not much much than five minutes because our uh, actually um, our project is uh, a bit huge because this is interior a lot of the details a lot of the information let's wait and the loading date is finished as you can see here is our uh, project and let me I will compare the version let's say compare version number two and number three let's compare the versions here you can choose the which compare should the versions number three and number two and 3d let me I will compare it it not will take time and a lot of the time as you can see here is our project this is our number three the version number three and now data is loading let's wait so here is done. Let me see. Okay, as you can see, the 1800 something modified um, removed. As you can see, we removed this desk, you remember that, and remo we removed this the wall. And as you can see, it's removed. You can select on that actually. Like, actually, you can see only like this. And you can see exactly what was removed. You can select on that and see uh -huh, the number re re version 3 it was removed or you can go to the uh, just modify modification type and you can see the type of the modification if you want and as you can see here is for example what what really was modified modified was really only four elements this wall as you remember and i changed some some kind of elements that's it and as you can see it's exactly here and this wall this wall and this door that's it it's right only three or four elements was the just a bit modified so your client can check it and just to compare the version is it changing something or no okay let me i will go back right now i will show you one most nice thing let's say this is like a filter you can go to the view and you can just filter it for example you want to see only the i don't know maybe you want to see only some furniture and let's see what is that and you can see aha this is this this bed and this is that bed and here is that one and maybe you want to see what is that and you can see exactly only by trim 3d models you know need searching it you can just search uh, filter it by 3d also you can upload your own 3d view and your own sheets how you can do that just let's back to the uh, rabbit and here under the uh, Collaborate, you will find publish settings. Publish settings, it means what will be published, uh, for example, to the A360 or BIM360, what, whenever you, you, you will use. And as you can see here, it will be published set one, and here's only the models. But for example, you wanna publish the set sheet models, and you will see only sheets. And after that, you can just publish it just select everything select and save and close now all these elements will be published when you will save your model that's it so by this way you can share it your model with your client with your teacher with your colleagues and if your company is small so this will be nice future for you you can upload your model here you can submit it and you can commit it so here's the comments comments and you can write like uh, change wall uh, grid one one a let's say you will comment comment that and you can see here is the comment and uh, someone should reply on that and you can just save all the comments here maybe your client will say sorry i don't like this uh, furniture can you change for the other one or i don't like this door i don't like this uh, the corridor it's so small i want to be a bit bigger can you make this some different one some different variant and you can just comment it here and directly in your model also you can create the, some markups for example he don't like some some walls he just can just mark up it as you can see here and you can save it and the uh, these markups will see everyone as you can see and as you can see here the nico has marked up this wall and you can reply this it and as you can see the dialogue here directly in the browser so what we can see else else here we can we can of course the, use the first person of course i know you you really like it guys uh if you're using the first person so you're using the arrow keys and you're using the your mouse so 
it's a pretty same, so here is nothing new. I don't like use the first person because for the first person we can create a real nice 3D. Uh, we have the camera, so we can create the camera and change the focal distance and fit to the view if you, our building is huge. We can comment, we can comment directly on the point, for example, we can comment for this wall and write here the comment like uh, change color change color and of course you will see the new comment here the change color but you also will see directly the element which should the change the color of course you can print and you can explode the model if you want like like that but i don't know for what that we're using actually did never used that one uh, create the section for your model this is pretty nice because when your object really huge you really need the sections. You can just rotate it as you want. So everything in the browser, everything is free. Okay, so I hope you was interesting about that and you will use it. And and as a gift for you guys, I will share with you with this project. So you can uh, go inside to that project, comment it, mark up it, so like making the section, just uh, walking around this uh, the interior. Uh, around this apartment so up to you you can just test it by my project maybe you will find it interesting maybe you will try it and you will see like you're not interesting this future thank you guys for watching and don't forget about the likes share i'm trying to share with you with really relatable things like which you will use in the practice not just for not just for fun I'm trying to explain you which the tools will be really helps in your work. Thank you and see you next time.